Open Science Festival. Meet yeah, thank you, Jens. Inspire. And uh, hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm really happy to present uh, our story on the Fair Open Data publishing pipeline we developed at RKI during the uh, pandemic uh, using uh, GitHub and Zenodo. So what's the starting point of our story? Obviously, the corona pandemic, and lots of you have seen uh, the dashboard that was really popular, especially at the beginning, um, with the corona data. And yeah, OK, it's a dashboard, so you can see graphics. But the whole question was, OK, where is the data behind it? And uh, the situation at the beginning was like this, that we had a data hub behind the dashboard, but there were also specific websites on topics like vaccination or uh, hospitalization. And uh, there was the RKI website with some Excel files there, which have a rather crude uh, formatting and so we had a really diverse situation which was causing us problems because the data was used by a, a huge audience especially the media and uh, on a regular basis they went nuts because some telephone was ringing during the night because some table was formatted in the wrong way and it did not work at all, so they were crazy knocking our doors. Um, we are, were asking ourselves, OK, how can we tackle the situation? How can we improve this? And what platforms and technology do we use um, to do that? And um, so we kind of let us ourselves inspire by what the community of the data scientists already did. So uh, they kind of harvested the RKI and, uh, and processed the data and uh, arranged it in a GitHub repository, and from there it was processed by the uh, audience. And we thought, yeah, well, OK, if they use GitHub, we can use GitHub too. It kind of makes sense. The community is there. So we said, OK, we use GitHub for our data publishing. And uh, here you see the current uh, screenshot of uh, the um, RKI uh, on GitHub. But obviously, GitHub is not actually meant as a data repository or something for publishing data. And especially questions of long-term archiving are not addressed uh, in an infrastructure like GitHub. And uh, of course, there are other issues with GitHub too, because uh, we need a persistent identifier, right? I mean, we are a governmental body. We have to be accountable also looking backwards what did we publish one year ago, especially in this uh, situation of the pandemic where a lot of political decisions were connected to our data. So uh, we said, well, we have GitHub, and there is also Synodo as a free service available, and it's actually filling the gap of the missing uh, technologies and the missing services that GitHub did not provide. So we said, OK, we use GitHub, and we use Synodo. And uh, these were then, in the end, the kind of core platforms we uh, started to play with and to work with and to publish our data with. And uh, we kind of tried to combine their features into uh, something bigger. And uh, so, OK, we have the, the infrastructure, the platforms we use for our data publication. But OK, how did the whole thing actually work? Um, and it had to be automated on a daily basis, like a lot of data has been processed. And um, well, if we think GitHub as a starting point, um, of course, you have to use Git to, you, to work with GitHub. And for those of you who are familiar with Git, it actually allows you to publish a folder uh, or, or files from a local folder uh, on GitHub, so a remote rem repository. And what you actually need is three commands, git add, git commit, git push. And this does the trick. This is everything you need to publish data with Git. Uh, and you can use GitHub or any other uh, Git endpoint. So the result after like uh, using these three prompts is what was once locally in your folder on your Windows is now globally available on GitHub to a wide audience. And here you see this is uh, the repository. So the next question is, OK, yeah, OK, you have it on GitHub. But yeah, how about Zenodo? And here the interesting point kicks in. GitHub has a continuous integration, and we wrote a script that is available to everybody that publishes the data that has been pushed to GitHub immediately to Zenodo. It gets the DOI. It gets versioned. The DOI is actually pushed back to GitHub. So if you go into the data documentation we have there, you find the, the actual DOI that is valid for the current data set. And so we combined in a pipeline fully automated these two platforms with each other. Uh, the result was, actually, the data journalists were quite pleased. Uh, Site Online said, well, OK, we can stop doing our own stuff. We can use the RKA GitHub stuff. And in the end, 
it was pretty cool. So um, we have a poster upstairs, so if you want to go into more detail also about the reusability and the workflow and actually what you can do with GitHub even more, uh, feel free to uh, see us there and thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you.